Today I want to talk about the very big issues of inflation, interest rates and recession. The December quarter inflation report indicated that from the Reserve Bank's perspective it was quite a shock. They were expecting underlying inflation at 6.5%, it printed 6.9%. I think that really does almost guarantee that we'll see another rate hike at the February board meeting on the 7th of February. The importance then will be the guidance that we get from the Reserve Bank. I think they'll retain a high degree of flexibility, but my, the likelihood is that more information on rising wage pressures are likely to mean that another rate hike will be necessary at the March 7 board meeting. After that, I think they can go on hold and, and await the March quarter CPI report that will be available for the May meeting. We think that CPI report will be high enough to suggest that another rate hike will be necessary. As we go into the second half of the year, we're expecting the economy to stagnate under the weight of the high rates, but we're not expecting a recession. This cycle is different to previous cycles. We've seen households accumulating 250 billion in excess savings, 110 billion of which is accumulated in redraw accounts. Labor market's going to remain relatively tight. So households will have a number of ways in which they can offset the high rates. They can draw on their, on their accumulated savings. They can cut back their savings overall uh, and they, they'll be able to uh, enjoy reasonable income growth from job availability and wages growth. All of those factors represent some upside risk to our forecasts. Uh, and if that was to come, come to pass, then it will be more difficult for the Reserve Bank to justify those rate cuts uh, early in 2024, which are our central view at the moment.